So the university farm has been developed as a practical demonstration of best practice peri-urban agriculture. The farm, in collaboration with New South Wales Local Land Services, provides excellent opportunities for students. We have a number of living lab initiatives across all our campuses, which is all about using the assets for teaching and research. One of the key initiatives here is looking at uh, appropriate sensor technology for improving our activities on the farm and as examples of precision agriculture for the students. So our approach is very much one of mainstream agriculture where we tend to use minimum tillage, where we don't disturb the soil, and of course using our recycled water for irrigation. You see behind us the, one of our centre pivot irrigators, which is uh, central to our management of this. Student participation in live industry projects around the farm, they enable the students to develop scientific and professional skills. Our goal is to continue to develop the farm with best practice using new and emerging technologies. This $7 million um, glasshouse facility was officially launched uh, in 2017 as Australia's first national vegetable protected cropping centre and of course this has uh, positioned Western Sydney University uh, to conduct the much needed research, education and training which will help drive Australia's a future horticultural industry. Productivity inside protected cropping facilities like this is much higher than you can do on farm uh, in large part because pest control is much better and the environment can be controlled. So there's very little wastage and spoilage in a facility like this. We can grow food here under controlled environmental conditions, particularly given uh, the way the climate is changing. So we can control the temperature, we control the humidity, we control water and nutrient delivery, and control CO2 concentration. And what it means is under these controlled environments, we can mitigate um, heat waves and droughts and floods, which are common in farms in this area now. Also, the quality of the crop is immensely high because we don't have the same sort of pest load that you normally get. So really the idea is to have a smaller footprint, less energy use, better use of resources, and the capacity to get vegetables and fruits to market quickly. So we save costs on transportation and on CO2 emissions and things like that. One of the problems with harvesting capsicums, if you have a look, there's this enlarged part of the stem, and if we can, we cut right through the middle of that. If you don't do that, the, um, there's a rock that seems to run back up the stem. This program is uh, looking for students. They can have both scientific and academic skills and also have hands-on practical skills. We're going to be able to take a lot of um, undergraduate students and graduate students uh, into this facility. We'll be able to train them in plant physiology and plant chemistry, plant molecular biology. In essence, what we're doing is we're applying really top-level physics, uh, photovoltaics, chemistry, and plant biology uh, to secure our food production for the future. Now we already have industry presence, but of course my role here is to expand this facility to be fully representative of industry. I think what we would like to do is to have multiple crops, each of them with their own research question, and this will actually provide the much needed training to build a national workforce and carry out the critical research that is needed in this area.